all right hello everybody and welcome back i'm Cassis plays and today we are continuing some more best month ever game uh as you can probably tell this intro is going to be very interesting to today's video because uh just as a very quick recap last time we were traveling uh we were in uh the car with louise and mitch car ended up breaking down and uh a nice guy helped tow his car or our car to his house turns out the guy's a little bit weird and he had a few people uh being captured in the uh basement also turns out that he is part of the kkk so with that said uh we were just leaving that place we knocked him out took his outfit and now we're pulling up right here. I don't know what Louise is planning. Honestly, I would just be pulling Mitch right out of there. But whatever, that's where we're at. So let's see how this turns out. It's going to be interesting. This time you're not getting out of the car. Swear, Mitch. You swear first that nothing will happen to you. I swear. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. That's great. Trusting each other. Oh, oh God, what is about to happen here? Finally, Thomas. You took your fucking time. Sheriff. Oh, Put my that God. Gun down, Thomas. Or you're gonna shoot that before we hang him. On your knees. Thomas is gone. Get down on your knees in two seconds or you'll meet his fate. <laughs> there goes a brave one. He left you all alone. Doesn't matter. We'll manage without him. Take your hood off. You know him? Yeah, he's our sheriff. Oh, I'm not surprised. Wait, I thought the other guy I was the sheriff. I saw his pictures. Cuff him. Cuff You're him. making a big mistake. You made a mistake when you took off your hood for all those lynching party photos. Take his gun away. I've got your pictures and others have them too. Death penalty in each of them. Offer a deal that will facilitate further travels. Offer the prisoner to take the law into his own hands. Hmm. We've established who you are, but do you know who I am? No. What do you think a white girl like me can do to you now? You're pointing a gun at me, so I assume it's not about sex. Sex with a pig is out of the question. <laughs> You'll never forget it if you try. I'll never forget watching you die. But I'm not alone this time. What should I do with him? Honestly, I, I just want to go home to my family. You should go back, but they'll still come after you. S so we should kill him? I suggest you put the sheriff in the trunk and drive to the nearest big city. Then find a black police officer and hand this bastard over with the pictures. W what if they destroy the pictures? They will cover this up. I've got extra prints and negatives. Tell them it will all come out one way or another. Why can't you take him there, ma'am? I'm going in the other direction. I have to find Black Morass in Louisiana. Black Morass? Yeah. Have you been there? No, I'm afraid not. But I have a good friend who lives there on an alligator farm. Was his name Leon? Good Lord, Leon, of course. So, Louise? 
Leon spoke of you many times. Your mother said the same thing. I met her in hope. Well, that's pretty how wild. How unsearchable are his judgments and how fathomless his ways. Your father had so much to tell you. He, he was grief-stricken that he ran out of time. What do you mean, he ran out of time? Find him and ask for yourself. I'll do that. I leave the sheriff in your charge, but don't do anything silly. He's going to promise you mountains of gold. Thanks, Louise. Later, we read in the paper that a killer kidnapped the sheriff. But the sheriff broke loose and killed him. But they didn't follow us. Did you get him, Mom? I'm not sure. I could have helped you with the Winchester. Once you shoot a person, you'll want to do it again. So what? So you'll kill an innocent person and you'll never forget it. Or someone will kill you. Then why did you shoot? So nobody kills you. Are we going to see Grandpa? Yes. Is Grandpa cool? He used to be very cool, but then he left his kids without a word. And my dad left us without a word, too? No. Can you be quiet for a while, Mitch? Well, damn. Like I said, I knew it was going to be an interesting uh, beginning to today's video. <laughs> So, that's where it's at for that. For the next few that. hours, we drove in silence. Suddenly, my mother looked at me and said, the most important thing in life are your principles. Fuck. And I thought we lived in a shithole. Looks like that's the only way. Let's go. Let's see what's out there. I've got a bad feeling about this. We didn't come all the way just to turn back. Okay, get in the car. Okay, so with the way that this game has been going, I can't really see this being any worse than everything else that we've ran into so far. Unless if the cannibals actually like are here this time. Like company. Ha ha, maybe it's not that bad. I mean, we've blown up cars. We've held up people Shit! Jump oh god out of the car, bitch! oh god oh god mom mitch where are you here right there help me i can't swim hang oh, on mom great. i'll think of something go 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 find something to pull her loose oh. Or pull Luis out, not <laughs> pull her loose. Go, Mitch, go. Gotta find something. Here we go. Hold on, Mom. <sighs> Thank you. You okay? Considering we just lost everything we've got? Sure, Mitch. It's all good. So what's next? Now, we're gonna hoof it. Too bad Grandpa doesn't know we're coming. He would come out and get us, right? Uh, yeah, hopeful. I hope so. Are you mad at me? I'm mad at myself. I knew I shouldn't have taken that damn bridge. Okay. So we made it here. Looks like this is a sign to Black Morass. A road sign. We're on the right track. Who would live in this place? Your grandfather would. Maybe he's not all there. Nobody in our family is all there. 
Hmm. You okay, Mom? True that. Just a bit tired, that's all. Oh, Let's God. go before the mosquito. Let's walk over the top. Oh, God, she's going to pass out somewhere. I, I got to rest. Are you afraid to see Grandpa? Uh, contradict, admit to it. No, let's admit to I it. I guess so, but don't let it worry you. I'll defend you if I have to, Mom. Grandpa's not going to harm me, Mitch. I'm just afraid we won't understand each other after all this time. Mitch... What if you had to live here? Never. What if Grandpa turns out all right? Then we go home, right? Tell the truth or lie. Uh, tell the truth. No. You want to stay here? How long? Mitch, I'm very ill. So you need to rest. Is that why we're going to Grandpa's? We don't have much time. We have to find Grandpa. At least I hope Grandpa knows how to fish. Mom? I'm fine, sweetheart. Quite an adventure, isn't it? Yes, the best vacation ever. I love you, Mitch. I'll find the way. You just rest now. Okay, <laughs> just be careful. I mean, it's definitely the most interesting month ever. I don't, I wouldn't say best, but okay. <laughs> I I see why though. It is something we both that's knew very. This uh, wasn't going to end well, and we were both hoping for something that would give this story a happy ending. Come on. Let's find him. Uh, I don't even know how we would get up here. Oh God! Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, oh, oh God. Quick, kid! I'll help you. Where Grab did they hand. come from? <laughs> what? Are you nuts? What were you doing down there? Please shoot him, ma'am. She's a mother protecting her young. You stepped into her nest, so she wanted to eat you. Was she right or wasn't she? If she ate me, that wouldn't be right. What are you doing here, kid? <laughs> My mom needs help. We were going to Black Morass and she got weak. Going to Black Morass on foot? You're either stupid or desperate. Had that monster eaten me, mom would have looked for me. And if she found whatever was left of me, she would have probably died. Think. I'm from the swamp. Well, there's another achievement. Mom! Mom! Relax, kid. We're almost there. Somehow we keep finding these people out in the middle of nowhere. Where these people keep finding us in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and saving us every time. Come on, kid. Help me carry her home. Now, Barbara, I have a good feeling about. I don't think she's going to be a cannibal. But we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> Alligator farm. Throw higher. Feeling the skipping better? rocks. Much better. Thank you Throwing. again, ma'am. You should thank your son. What would I do without you, Mitch? You must have slept for twelve hours. Is it really true that you're looking for your old man to give him hell? What? What did you tell her, Mitch? That you're looking for a father who'd left you and that you're very sick. Mitch! I'll go get some more meat. <laughs> let him go. Stop. I will let him go. The kid is no dummy. Thank you, but I think I know my own son. But does yes. he know you? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Are you a shrink? I just raise alligators. And I'm just looking for my father. 
Why is she so hostile? You're right. It's none of my business. Like literally, I'm you're gonna die. Father, Why are you being so hostile? <laughs> you won't find him here. And I know that's that's horrible, I know he but like. In Black morass. Black they morass was flooded two years ago. Just saved her. Everybody moved like, what? away. Did you know those people? No, I built the farm after all that happened. Mm. Feeling sick again? Come on, let's go inside. He ran away from us when I was eight. Just disappeared. There you go. Do That's you hate better, him Louis. Or need him? Honestly, both. You couldn't have made it this far on pure hate. What about you? All by yourself? I had a guy. I met him after he got out from a 10 year stretch. What did he do? Attempted murder. When he got out, he went after that same motherfucker again. Your guy sounds like a real psycho, to be honest. That motherfucker was making moves on his daughter. She wasn't even eight. Well. I already know who it is. Find out more. What was your man's name? Leon. Leon Connor. <sighs> I should have guessed earlier. I've got something for you. When he couldn't find you, I made him write you a letter, but he didn't know where to send it. I can't do it, Mitch. You read it. Louise, my little girl, after all these years, I still can't find you. I understand why you're avoiding me. Perhaps you even hate me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I allowed all these lies and that I couldn't protect you. Instead of looking for the bad guy, I should have just stayed with you. I'll never stop looking for you. And I know we shall meet in the end. Maybe it's time for you to come clean with your son. Where's he going? Mitch, wait! Mitch, get back here. Wait. <laughs> we'll start walking the other way. Mitch. Why isn't my dad with us now? Cheer. Answer evasively. Maybe one day you'll meet your dad. When? Why do you say things that you know aren't true? You've never met yours, and I'll never meet mine. Can't you just tell me what happened? I'll tell you one day. So we keep playing this game that I'm stupid and I don't understand anything. Little kids are not supposed to know, right? You don't tell them everything. I'm not a kid anymore, Mom. Thanks to you. What do you mean? I mean that in the last few days I've seen enough to stop being a kid. I'm sorry for that, Mitch. I always want to be with you, Mom, but instead of being on vacation, we keep running away. I did it all for you. You started with setting your boss's car on fire, and then it just got better and better. You're not being fair, Mitch. No, that was really great, Mom. If you could only stop lying. What are you talking about? I think it's time for bed, Mitch. Good night. Sweet dreams, kid. Come and join me on the porch. Huh? So his father doesn't even know about him, huh? Will you take care of him? He likes you. I'm not going anywhere now. Decide what to do. Wait for the answer. Press on. I'll wait for the answer. No. The boy has a father. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. A selfish bastard. Talking about what happened eight years ago is nonsense. Who's selfish now? Easy for you to say. 
you're not dying. Maybe you will die, but the kid and his father will keep on living. <laughs> if you don't make it, I promise I'll take care of the boy, I swear. Apple Hill, from New Orleans, take I-55 North to Campwood, then turn left onto a gravel road. After a few miles, go right. Campwood, that's less than 100 miles from here. I don't want him to suffer in case something goes wrong. I'll take you to New Orleans in the morning. My friend will take it from there. Thank you. I'm glad my dad finally met the right woman. Well, he wasn't too picky after 10 years in the joint. Leon always talked about a little girl who had so much strength, enough to defy the whole family. He always admired you for it. If I had to choose a grandma right then, I would have chosen Barbara, even if I had to live in those boondocks. <laughs> after we said our goodbyes, Mom told me, if we don't make it, Mitch, you'll go back to her. I was ready for it because I knew we wouldn't make it. Alligator Queen. Well, we are still moving on, it seems like. Still making some good progress. I really can't tell where this, uh, where this game is going to end at, <laughs> at this rate. 1961. Looks like this is Louise. Go ahead. Look for it. Stop being silly, Frank. I have something important to tell you. Look for it. Ta-da! Champagne. What's the occasion? Keep looking. A ticket for New York? For tomorrow? I heard back from Atlantic. They want me to start recording in the studio the day after tomorrow. That's fab. That fast? I know. It's a reward for our infinite patience. Will you join me after the session? You want to stay in New York? Don't you? <sighs> Frank. Yeah? You want to have kids? What? You heard me. Are you pregnant? Would you like me to be? And just when the biggest label on the East Coast wants to sign me. Albums, concerts, what do you want me to say? A simple question. Do you want kids or not? So are you pregnant or not? Yes. Aren't you happy? Well, yeah. Very much. Just kidding. I'm not pregnant. What? Jesus, are you, are you serious? You scared me. Um, yeah, I noticed. Louise, of course I want to have kids with you, but it's not the best time, okay? When the right time comes, you let me know, will ya? Hey, don't be mad. Our lives are just beginning. My life had just begun a few weeks earlier. I'm not sure if that made anybody else happy, but I sure was. Ah, okay. 1969. Mom, do you hear me? Hmm? I can't believe I'm going to meet my dad. Feels strange. Support? Don't worry. He's just a black, middle-aged man that you don't know yet. What if he doesn't like me? He won't have a choice. Just be yourself. Everybody likes you. Best vacation I ever had. <laughs> I really meant it back then. And to be honest, I still do. Oh, I thought we were going to walk up to the tree. <laughs> Apparently not. I thought my dad was a musician, not a farmer. Wait for me here. Good morning. 
Hello? Lester, are you in there? The plants have been watered, so someone must live here. Hands off my plants and get out! Good morning, Lester. Which part of get out don't you understand? I'm looking for Frank. Here, sick him! Whoa. Call. Come here, Plato. You're still alive, old boy. Come on. Useless piece of shit. <laughs> I see you still love animals and people. Tell me where Frank is and I'll be gone. Frank don't want to see you. Are you still in touch with him? And who are you? I'm Mitch. Good morning. Your grandson. You left him when he needed you most. Suddenly you're back thinking I'll let you ruin his life again? Get out. I left him so he could live his own life. So what do you want from him now? Child support? I've been writing to him every month. That's more than a hundred letters, Lester. He never wrote back. Now I know I had the wrong address. Enough of this bullshit. His place was always here on the farm. Where is he, Lester? Died in Vietnam. Happy now? You're lying. He got his ass kicked somewhere in Alabama. Lester! No, he met a leech just like you and overdosed. Either way for you, he don't exist. Oof. Beg? Breton? Uh... You old son of a bitch, tell me where Frank is or I'll get my gun and blow your head off. And then I'll piss all over your plants. Let's get out of here, Mom. No. You heard him. He's not here. He is. They don't want us here. Mitch! Mitch, wait! What? It's gonna be all right. Stop lying. You think I don't know this vacation is not really a vacation? What are you saying? See? Lying again. Then I admit to it. <laughs> Fine. You're right. I don't see why that brings you down his confidence, that though. Uh, and denying wait. it would have brought up his confidence. Like, righteousness is good, relations is good, but he doesn't have as much confidence. I'm trying to fix that, actually. Get to see down, what happens Mitch. when you have all of them up. Why are you lying? Because I'm scared. You keep saying there's nothing to be scared of. Just tell me the truth. Why isn't Daddy with us? I ran away from him. Why? I was afraid he'd leave me just like my dad did. I didn't want to be a burden to anybody. And because of that, I don't have a father. Yes. I'm sorry, Mitch. Back then, I thought he'd look for me if he wanted to find me. So why do you want for us to meet now? I have to find a new home for you. You need a father and a family. I don't need a father and a new family. I've got you. <sighs> I'm very sick, Mitch. Are you dying, Mom? 
I don't know. I guess I am. But why? We both knew about it, but we kept pretending otherwise, right? But I want to be with you. I want to be with you too, kid. Having you was the only right choice I made in my life. I'm not going to die before I find you a family. So let's go somewhere far, far away and look forever. Later, I asked my mom what thoughts a dying person has. She said, one hopes that it's not going to happen tomorrow. Mom? Mommy? Help! Is anybody out there? Uh -oh. My mom needs help! I'll get some help, Mom! Run, Mitch, run. Maybe he'll be here this time. Please open up. My mom needs help. If you don't help her, she's going to die. I'm not falling for that. I have to call an ambulance. Break the window. All right, here we go. Hopefully we got good aim. Nice. What you doing, you little brat? I'll bust you up. My mom is dying. If this is a trick. Do you have a phone? No, but the neighbors do. Where is it? Um, I'm going to go there. No, you go get my mom. She's on that hill under a tree. Okay, okay. Go past the windmill along the fence, then straight through a field all the way to a ditch. After the ditch, you'll see a white house at the end of a road. Oh, God. Find the road by the windmill? Jeez, the frames... The frames. I didn't know how long that path was. I could barely see running through the rain. All I remember was my heart pounding so hard I felt it in my throat. Go, go, go. Nice, we got all. Everything's in the green right now, confidence included. There's just a tiny tip of it that's not. Come on, Mitch. I tried not to think about mom so I wouldn't cry. But was I crying? The hard rain drowned out my howling. Now he did say there's a ditch, but I think we just have to keep crossing. Go, Mitch. It would be boring for this too. Finally, I saw a warm light coming through the rain. There we go. They're gonna be like, why is this kid out here? <gasps> there it is. There it is. Go, go, go. Knock on the door, Mitch. Ew. Do you have a phone? What happened? Won't you come inside, child? No time. Please call an ambulance. My mom is unconscious and needs help. She's sick.
Hello? Yes, I need help. Where should they go? To that old farm nearby. Apple Hill, Old Lester Johnson's farm. They're coming. You should dry off. No time. I have to go back. Wait. I'll grab my kid and go with you. Let's go. Sticking together. Nice. Oh my god. Just sitting in the back. Or laying in the back. Come on, help me take your mom inside. Dad, take care of the baby. Mitch, you give me a hand. We have to warm her up. Start the fire. It's cold in here. Will you light it up, boy? Well, that was quick. Yeesh. <laughs> Lester is your daddy? Lester is my husband's father. What's your husband's name? Frank Johnson. <gasps> Can she hear us? I think she does. Maybe if I bring back my dad, you'll wake up? Mom? Where's Frank? Frank? My dad. Who? Playing at the Blue Barn like every Thursday. There's a neon sign by the off ramp. <laughs> He's actually going to take the car? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh god, what is that noise? It sounds like we're being shot at. I'd never driven a truck like that before, but that night I found out that I could. <laughs> what is happening? Also, I was trying to click and the game is like, no, 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 you don't click this time. This time around, you are using WASD, the drive, the blue barn. Here it is. Stop cutting in, kid. There's no room. To the window. To the wall. That's when the time stopped. I saw my dad for the first time. You have to help my mom, sir. You're interrupting, boy. Where are your parents? You have to come with me, or she's gonna die. You want me to kick that kid out? Wait, Andy. Chill out, kid. What's up? I'm Louise Connor's son. Lou? And your son, sir.
Do you know this girl? Is it her? Please say something to her, sir. Play her something you wrote for her. Dad. Mom woke up and lived a few more days. She was strangely calm. Then she was gone. It was the best month of my life, but also her last. We'd been together like never before, and I think she loved it too. Mom really tried hard, and everything we went through influenced who I've become. Today is the anniversary of my mom's death. I'm the same age now as she was when she died. She wanted to change many things, but she ran out of time. Sometimes I have a feeling she's right behind me, whispering into my ear, don't mess it up, Mitch. My mother once told me, don't let the world change you. You gotta change the world. I'm trying to improve things all over the world, but sometimes I feel like we can only make it worse, but I'm still trying. I also have a son, the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm trying to show him everything that's good about life, and I hope I won't run out of time. I'm just now beginning to understand what my mother felt when she found out about her illness. I understand how much she lost. My mom loved me. She did her best for me. She won some, she lost more. But one thing she managed for sure, the best month of our lives. In the time of test, family is the best. And there it is. Warsaw Film School. Oh god, sorry, I just <laughs> knocked my uh mic. And I think let's see if we do Well actually there might not be too many credits, so let's let's let it roll for a second. But yeah, pretty good game. I would say it's it was good. It wasn't anything crazy. Uh, I mean, well, the story was crazy, but I don't, I don't think it was anything like over the top. I do think it was a good game. I enjoyed it. And again, like I said, shout out to the uh, to whoever originally approved my key request through Keymailer for this game because I did receive it um, for free. So, thank you to them. I did enjoy it, though. I think it was a pretty cool game. I always like story games like this, uh, dialogue choices. I know there are, there's like eight different endings, apparently. Personally, I don't think I'm going to go through another playthrough again. Um, I'm going to leave that up for other people to, to check out and, and do. Um, but uh, I'm still glad that I played this game and at least tried it. Because it does have some very interesting parts to it. Um, the audio throughout the entire game is a little weird. There's a lot of like, if people say S, like S, you hear it and it's really loud. And there's a lot of like mismatching, like, um, uh, like volume to some moments. So some moments are like louder than others. But, like I said, I mean, obviously, it's not, like, the biggest team ever. Um, seems to be, a, like, a school, some sort of project, I think. Um, unless if I'm completely wrong about that. It's, like, Warsaw School Project. But, either way, I mean, still, pretty good for what it was. As things are kind of expected, especially when it's a smaller studio. But overall, uh, I think it was a good time. I'm just letting the, uh, the credits kind of roll through now. I don't think there's anything at the end, but I don't see why there would be because we already got the uh, 
Uh, what's it called? The like kind of follow up to Mitch's story. I, I do like how at the end it does show you the uh, like your percentages of everything. So, and it kind of like came without, without expecting it to. So, yeah, it was a little confusing actually, um, here and there. It's a little confusing because I, th I thought that we were going after, like at some points you couldn't tell if you're going after the father, like Louise's father, or if you're going after uh frank like this majority of this time i thought we were going after trying to find louise's father and then all of a sudden we found frank so i don't know it's a little bit uh odd i guess or confusing but either way that was good. All right. I'm just going to return the man menu. <laughs> it's probably going to say like, yeah, okay. So you have new. So this is the unlocked ending. So yeah, there, as you can see, there's nine different ones. Um, Looks like some of this. Yeah, he might end up in jail just from looking at that one. Uh, That's a person that's a person I wonder what these all are here but yeah I'm I'm good with this game honestly I'm content uh, with what I got I might look up the like other endings myself but I don't think I'm really gonna go through another playthrough so if you enjoyed this I mean honestly if you did enjoy it then pick it up yourself whenever it's on sale or uh, if you want to buy it itself right now I forget it might be like 15 or 20 dollars i don't think it's anything crazy but there's like if you want to take the time and make different choices and see what the outcomes to be um could be then hey feel free to do so because there's definitely a lot there this app this playthrough I, I saw my play time is about eight hours so it's nothing too crazy but honestly doing it like over uh over time not too bad like 45 minutes an episode has been pretty good so so yeah as always thank you guys for watching anybody if you did enjoy this leave a like subscribe for more and hopefully i'll see you in some of my other playthroughs for now though that's going to be it and i appreciate it thank you for watching i'll see you all next time peace